Hey there guys, this is Mike Kim once again. Welcome back to my Diablo 3 channel and today I'm going to be talking a bit about PvE key terminology that you'll need to know if you are new to the genre especially uh, in MMORPGs or any RPG that you've played so far you will always have certain terms that you will use more often than not all right? and they are generally accepted terms. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is crowd control kiting, AOE, and aggro. Uh, if you've never heard any of these before, uh, it's alright. I'm going to be explaining them one by one. And first up is crowd control. Crowd control is basically limiting the abilities or movement of enemies as you go along. And uh, this is one form of it, which is the caltrops, which the demon hunter has. What it does is it limits their movement. So you can see it's uh, slowed down the, this skeleton's movement speed by about 60% which uh, makes it very easy for me to to at least uh, move around and not take any damage at all. Uh, the next one that I was going to tell you about was kiting and this is actually what I'm doing. Kiting is basically doing as much damage as possible while taking as little damage as possible. All right? uh, I'm not exactly attacking him or dealing any damage right now but I am taking zero damage as well. Uh, simply by limiting or restricting the amount of movement he can he has, I am pretty much uh, in a very safe zone even though uh, he is almost in melee range. Now the next one that I wanted to mention was the AOE which is Area of Effect Attacks that uh, all classes have, it's just uh, how they use them, uh, like the Barbarian has the cleave ability and in my case I'm using the Bola Shot with Volatile Explosives as my skill rune. Increase, increases the explosion radius to 14 yards, usually it's 7 yards. So the, my area of effect is 14 yards. Area of effect. The amount of area that I influence after I shoot my bola shot. So once I leave the bola shot on a target, within 14 yards of him is my area of effect. Okay, I'm going to show it to you right now. What's happening here is I'm clearing out multiple mobs at the same time as my bola shot is exploding around them. As you can see, the area of effect is about 14 yards. Uh, I have no idea how to calculate this, but uh, it's the case. Because that's what it says on my skill tooltip. As you'll notice, uh, area of effect literally means it will not only kill uh, deal damage to one target, but multiple targets as well. And that is exactly what I mean when you're building your skill build for a specific class and I say that you need to at least have uh, one area of effect ability that you can use repeatedly to clear out rooms. Because uh, in Diablo 3, you're not going to be killing mobs, uh, enemies, one by one, but you're going to be killing them in groups a lot of the time. All right? And the, sec the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about was aggro. Aggro is a short form for aggression and in most RPGs, it means taking the attention of an enemy mob. As you can see, since I'm the only person in this party or in this group, I'm the only person in this dungeon. What this means is that the enemies aggro only on me. If you have a teammate, it means that at least you or your teammate, your one other teammate, is going to have aggro of, uh, of the enemy. And in a group, a group setting especially, uh, certain classes are better at controlling aggro than others. Uh, for example, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Barbarian has an ability called Threatening Shout and if you skill rune it properly, it can actually get aggro of enemy near enemies within 15 yards of him for 6 seconds all the time. It's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, spammable as well. So what this means is the Barbarian is in a position to be able to tank if they want to. I don't believe the Demon Hunter has an ability that will actually uh, drop aggro or gain aggro other than uh, being in range of enemies. All right. Now, uh, the, in my next few videos or in future videos, if I ever mention aggro, that is what it means. Uh, it means aggression and what it does is uh, you have the attention of uh, enemy mobs or bosses in the dungeon within the, the area that you are in. Uh, that wasn't the last thing I wanted to speak uh, to you about, I'm sorry. Uh, one of my friends uh, asked me what does mobility mean, okay? 
mobility is the ability to move around quickly. Okay, um, for exa the a few examples that I gave was the barbarian's uh, leap attack, which allowed him to jump from uh, area to area. And as you can see, in Diablo 3, there's collision detection where you cannot move through enemy mobs. So just with this uh, mechanic where you cannot move through enemy mobs, uh, it means you are able to get trapped if there are too many enemies and you cannot kill them quickly enough. So it is very very possible to get trapped. I am going to look for a gro group of enemies right now and try and get trapped and I'm going to show you how a mobility skill is useful in this sense. Okay, Over here as you can see I'm blocked. As in, I can't really go out because the enemies are blocking my way, like this. And a mobility skill allows you to get in and out of combat easily. The mobility skill in mind for the Demon Hunter is Vault. This is a mobility ability that allows you to get away from uh, huge chunks of enemies and also to uh, take advantage of the terrain that you have in the game. So for the Barbarian, it's the attacking uh, leap attack which will deal damage uh, where it lands uh, but for the Demon Hunter, it doesn't deal damage but who knows, uh, the skill runes that they have might be different and they may change based on the gameplay and whatever Blizzard decides to do. Uh, each of the classes have a mobility ability like uh, mobility skill, sorry. Uh, like the Monk, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Monk has a dash strike which is a, a, a quick uh, movement and attack at the same time. And the Demon Hunter has the Vault. Uh, Witch Doctor, if I'm not mistaken, has the Spirit Walk. Uh, Barbarian has the uh, uh, Leap Attack. And the final one is Wizard has their Teleport. So the skill rules will affect your mobility, uh, mobility skill. But uh, for now, I am not sure exactly what they have. Uh, because I don't have all of them right here. But let's see what Vault has. Vault has... Acrobatics at unlocks at level 23, removes the discipline cost but adds a 15 second cooldown. So it will have a 15 second cooldown but will be free to cast. It is currently 10 discipline to cast and I have a total of 30 discipline at level 13. Rattling roll, tumble for 35 yards. All enemies within 8 yards of your destination are knocked back and stunned for 1.5 seconds. This is good, especially in PvP when... Uh, you want to prevent people from running away, you can actually vault to them and deal damage at the same time while you're stunning them. Uh, then there's another one at level 40. As you travel, shoot arrows for 75% weapon damage at nearby targets. This is probably very good uh, in PvE because uh, you'll be able to vault back and forth uh, within a room uh, as long as you have discipline uh, and deal damage at the same time. I'm not sure how many arrows she's shooting uh, or he is shooting because it says as you travel, shoot arrows. It doesn't say how many or how many times it actually shoots. Tumble after using Vault. Your next Vault within 6 seconds has its Discipline cost reduced by 50%. So from 10 Discipline, the next Vault within uh, 6 seconds will be 5 Discipline, which is not too bad, but yeah, that is uh, very situational. It's pretty good because uh, it means you can Vault twice in a row, but... Uh, for half the price, uh, which means it'll cost 15 discipline as compared to acrobatics, it's free, but you only get to do it once every 15 seconds. Trail of Cinders, ignite with fire, dealing 100% weapon damage as fire to everything along your path. Okay, this is a damage dealing vault at the same time. So you'll see that uh, even though it's a mobility skill, you can actually uh, tailor it to your tastes. Uh, so that's about it for today's video on crowd control, kiting, AOE, area of effect, aggro, and a mobility skill. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mike Kim. See you soon. Good night.